we're getting ready to take the 1970 Skeeto Olympic uh, 399 out. I had ridden it earlier in the season and the coil went bad so I had to replace it. And as you'll see later in this video, our troubles are not over yet, so stay tuned. We do hit uh, December 30th, then towards the end, you'll be able to see the difference in snow. I think it was something like uh, 18 to 24 inches of snow, new from December 8th to December 30th. So we get a lot of fresh snow, which is good, except for uh, this one will be back out of commission, as you'll see later in the video. And it runs for a while, and it is currently out of commission again, which you'll see we'll talk a little more about as the video goes on. So, enjoy the video, and I will talk to you in the comments. I found out it was the other coil. The first time it was the right side coil, I think, and the second time it was the left side coil went out. Hopefully my new spark plugs are here. I was hoping it was the spark plugs that went out, but I replaced the spark plug and it still didn't start, so I went with the new coil and then it ran. That one was going to be parked there for quite a while, so I came up and grabbed the 1969 Skidoo Olympic 320. and took down the cover and the, the block for the hold it up off the ground.
December 8th that I was out there riding. I did the tight to the shoreline because my friend he just indicated to me that there was six inches of ice where he had was testing and the ice hadn't been in all that long so there's probably spots where there wasn't as thick as the ice so that's why I'm hugging the shoreline so tight because this was the first time I was out on there. As we come through the beach area here, you'll see in the tracks, you can see where there's water coming up. Now, as we look back, you'll be able to see that I'm dragging through slush, so you didn't want to slow down, not with this uh, six inches of suspension, <laughs> and get a lot of slush, it can bog you down pretty easily. Okay, well now, we're jumping forward to December 30th. I've got the, three, the 1970 398 fixed and running again. So now it's got two new coils on it. And we're able to take this one out uh, quite a few times around. And it actually stays running. But then again, on I think it's January 6th or 9th or something like that, I was out riding in the, the snow and I had parked it for a second to take the mail into the house and it was snowing really heavily and it was pulled into the carburetor so it, it killed one of the cylinders and so I was, or it killed one of the spark plugs so I took and pulled the plug to replace it and when I was putting it back in it stripped the, the, co the threads for the, the plug so now I am waiting to get over this cold I've got to take and replace the the head to get one with that has new coils on it. As you'll see there's a lot of new snow, probably about two foot on the ground from December eighth to December thirtieth. Then we've even got more sense then too.
banks that the snowplow makes makes it a little hard to get up off of the driveway in some places except you can't really tell on on the video that we got about two foot of snow a lot of it's packed because we did have a little melting and then it froze again but it makes for a nice little jump at the end of the driveway and stuff so well, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, this one it, it died again on December 9th or January 9th, and this I've got all the parts that I need, but this cold is kind of holding me back right now. So, okay. Well, thank you so much. Please show your support by liking this video and clicking that subscribe button. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.